prosperous country, but it cannot come just for the asking. We have to work very hard for it. And I want to say, and I believe very firmly, that your picket movement is the best place in Nigeria today. It has the, most, the, the greatest collection of patriots in Nigeria today. There is no other political formation. I don't need to mention names. There is no other political formation in Nigeria today that has the level of enthusiasm, patriotism, more than the Obedient Movement. So the future of Nigeria depends on you. You must take it very seriously to achieve a better Nigeria. Others are just there to plan how to grab positions and share money. We have a greater vision. And it's a very, very, very important one. And I want to say this. If Nigeria attends, you all know that Nigeria is us underperforming. Is that also? We underperform! Can you imagine a country with over 200, to, to 200 million active, vibrant people with thousands of acres, millions of, 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 of uh, uh, agricultural land? Because our resources are being frittered. So the building of a new Nigeria is a gigantic task and should not be taken lightly. And this is the uh, this is the, the duty that we, the obedience, have taken upon ourselves. Nobody is forcing it upon us. We are voluntarily taking up this mission to build a new Nigeria. Not only for the for the present generation and for future for future generations. This is your task, and it's a very important task. You must take it very seriously. I want to say this. Obedience are not tribalists. Obedience, obedience work as a team. And I want to take this opportunity to appeal to all obedience support groups to come together not to say, this is my support group, you can come. This is my support group, I'm the leader. Those are the stuff of which the people that are misleading us are made of. We must complete that work as a team in order to achieve. This is very important. And I want to emphasize that Nigerian youths are the body and soul of the obedient movement. The Nigerian youths are what? Body and soul of the obedient movement. Clap for yourself. that there is no official role for elders. There is no official role where he said this is the role of elders. But we know very well that in every society, elders, elders exist. Is that not so? What is the role of elders? To guide, to counsel, to caution, to direct a little bit. But the field workers and the active workers are what? The youth. So permit me to acknowledge you and to say that if the elders come and say, please our youth, we say, you do like this, can you listen to us? We don't have power to force anyone. We don't have any official no. It is simply voluntary. And I want to close this short address by giving you my own personal example. My own personal experience, not example, experience. When I joined politics early in 1979, with the uh, uh, preparation for the return to civil, uh, the Second Republic, the person that inspired me was a man called Alfred Ogbemi Rewane. Have you ever heard of him? Yes. Is he I'm from here? Is he from here? Nobody, I'm not believing anybody. I'm not believing my people. I'm, I didn't ask and they didn't give me. The person that inspired me to the progressive movement of the Dai Unity Party of Nigeria was Alfred Ogemi Rawane. Osibako. He had been a financier of the progressive movement since 1950s during the Action Group. And when those of us who were young, about 45 something years ago, I was young at that time, this thing was not there at that time. We go to him. You say, my son, my son, will encourage us. I cannot forget how 
Chief Rwande, he was having one of the upstairs in Central Lagos. When I went to see him, followed me as a young boy downstairs. Followed me. What me and advising me? I cannot forget the humility. The humility. This is one of the things we, 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 we don't see today among our politicians. The arrogant, proud, unaccessible. We don't want that. And he was a financier of Nadeko. How many of you know about Nadeko? Yeah. Nadeko National Democratic Coalition. National Democratic Coalition had no goal. They mobilized to drive away the military. Are you aware of that? You are the new Nadeko. You are the new, new what? Go and study, go and study the tactics of the liberation movement. It is your duty to liberate Nigeria. You cannot do it without tactics. Go and study the tactics of liberation movements. There are many tactics. Go and study it. So I want to thank all of you. I don't want to take much of your time. And thank you for coming. May God bless you all. Thank you very, very, very much. We have observed. Unfortunately, uh, let me start from 2022 to 23. Uh, at the end of the Buhari regime, in 2023, most Nigerians thought that they had seen the worst in terms of lack of credible leadership, nepotism, insecurity, lack of response to issues by the leadership of Nigeria. President Buhari brought, us, brought Nigeria to the Nade. Nobody thought that anything could be worse until uh, Alaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu came on board. And since he came right from day one, things have gone not only from bad to worse, to totally intolerable. People can no longer eat, insecurity has multiplied. Nigeria is appearing to be in a position where it cannot, it cannot be rescued. That is the problem. So some of us who have experienced Nigeria when it was workable, according to the youth that are organized under the obedient movement, who believe in the ideas and philosophy of Mr. Peter Obi, to come out as they did in 2022 and 2023, to re-energize, to re -strategize, as they did before the election that gave Mr. Peter Obi over 10 million votes. You know, on February 25, 2023, which was, which was stolen in Port Harcourt, in Lagos, in Niger, in Delta State here, in Plateau State, and many other states. They have to re-strategize to rescue Nigeria in what I call the new liberation movement. And I've asked them to study liberation movements across the world. And the nearest to us is the liberation movement, the National Democratic Coalition. There is a serious business to rescue the largest and most populous black country in the world from despair and from destruction. Thank you. That's why we're here.